Hi YouTube, Watchify here with another video. In this video I thought I'd go over the three major Japanese watch brands which are Seiko, Citizen, and Orient and provide what my perception of each one is. I collect Japanese brand watches so I have all three brands in my current collection. I also own some Casio watches and Casio is also a major Japanese brand However, for the purposes of this video, I won't be including them since they mainly make digital sports watches. I'll start off with Seiko since they make up the majority of watches in my collection. As to why that is, I would probably say it's because I favor the Seiko brand and find that a lot of their watches appeal to me. Seiko traces its roots back to 1881 when in Japan, founder Kintaro Hattori opened his first watch shop. A lot has happened since then, of course, and Seiko has become one of the major watch brands worldwide. They sell a wide variety of watches across all price segments from affordable to high-end. They played a part in the so-called quartz crisis in the 1970s and 80s, which saw inexpensive and accurate quartz-based timepieces challenge and then dominate the more traditional mechanical watch segment. Seiko has many original and recognizable designs and they have appeared in many well-known films. They even have a presence in the luxury end of the market with their Grand Seiko division. They frequently release new models and variants of existing models and to me it seems like they're still trying to innovate and stay current with watch consumer demands. Today it seems that Seiko emphasizes automatic movement based watches. They make their own mechanical movements in-house and also offer them to third parties. You can find most of their automatic watch models under their Seiko 5, Presage, and Prospects lines. They also release some of their most sought after watches to the Japanese domestic market. I think that Seiko does an especially good job with their dials and they'll often release a watch that has a distinctive or unusual dial and many of those watches are the ones that appeal to me the most. They are a well-regarded brand with a long history and when you buy a Seiko you feel that you're buying a quality watch. Some of the negatives though that can be mentioned about Seiko have to do with quality control with their watch's cosmetic aspects and how over recent years they've started increasing the prices on some of their more popular automatic movement watch lines, perhaps in an attempt to be considered higher end. It's these price increases though that cause some value conscious buyers to look elsewhere now. You can find some of the more common Seiko lines in local department stores, but online global retailers is where you're going to be able to find their complete catalog. As far as Citizen, they traced their roots back to 1918, but it was in 1930 when Swiss and Japanese investors came together to form the company known today. When I was researching information for this video, I found that Citizen actually has a higher revenue than Seiko, meaning they sell more watches. The Citizen Group has acquired other brands over the years and now consists of brands like Bulova, Federic Constant, and Alpina. Citizen is most known for the EcoDrive solar movements that the majority of their watch models use. To me, EcoDrive seems to be a marketing term that happened to catch on. I say that because Seiko also makes solar movement watches and I personally don't see anything different between the two brand solar movements in terms of their performance. Citizen probably has a higher revenue because they have such a large presence in the local retail segment. It's common to find a wide variety of affordable Citizen models in your local department store, so much so that some regard them as a mall watch brand. Although there is some truth to that, to consider Citizen just as a fashion or mall watch isn't fair since they too have a long history and they make some popular and highly regarded designs. I haven't had any issues at all with the Citizen watches I've had in my collection and I found them to be just as reliable as my Seiko's. Citizen recently started making their automatic movement watches more available to consumers in the United States with the release of their newest ProMaster Dive Collection watches. Citizen also makes their own watch movements as they own the Miyota company. Similar to Seiko, they often release their best designs to the Japanese market and these are only available for purchase online for consumers outside of Japan. 
Citizen has an extensive catalog of models to choose from, with some being what I would call pretty eclectic. They have entered into licensing agreements with Marvel and Disney, so they offer some models based on characters and themes from Disney and Marvel movies. For the ordinary watch consumer that just needs a reliable and affordable watch, I'd say that Citizen is the watch they're most going to come in contact with when they visit their local store or major online retailers like Amazon. And lastly, Orient is another major Japanese watch brand, but one that is probably the least known of the three to the general watch consumer. Unlike Seiko and Citizen, it seems that Orient only sells their watches online, as I have yet to come across their watches in any local department store or brick and mortar watch retailer. They were founded in 1950, so they're not as old as Seiko or Citizen, and their revenue appears to be much lower. Orient is actually a sister company of Seiko, as they are both under the Seiko Group family of companies, but they operate independently. Orient has a higher end brand named Orient Star, but it's not as high end as Grand Seiko, in my opinion. They sell a variety of watch models from 200 meter divers to dress watches, and have sort of become the new Seiko in terms of value. With Orient, you're finding designs with upgraded specs like sapphire crystals at prices well below current Seiko equivalents. Orient also makes all their own mechanical movements, and those are considered just as reliable as Seiko's. Since Orient's mainly an online brand, I think they're trying to leverage social media and online advertising more so than Seiko or Citizen. Their Bambina line of automatic dress style watches is well known on YouTube, and I've owned several of those models. They also have popular dive watch lines such as the Kamasu, Ray, and Kanu, which are legitimate 200 meter dive watches. Although Orient doesn't have the extensive catalog that Citizen or Seiko have, Orient appears to be the Japanese brand that those in the know are gravitating towards nowadays, and I think they'll become more well known as time goes on. In summary, I'd say that for me, I favor Seiko because of their heritage, the brand, and what they're doing in terms of design and dials. Next would be Orient, as they're an up and coming brand that is offering great value in automatic watches. Then Citizen would, for me, rank third out of the three, as they have yet to shake their Eco Drive mall watch reputation, and they do have some garish designs out there, but if you dig a little bit, you'll be able to find some really great Citizen models that are rivaling anything Seiko is offering in the same price segment. That's going to be it for this video. If you found it interesting, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I'd be interested to hear how you view these three Japanese watch brands and if you favor one over the other. Of course, I wanted to thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in another video.